Hey there, men. Let's take a look at this new set of essays you've done. Um, let's see. Computer education. Is this necessary or will they find it elsewhere? Let's see what you said. It is why I believe that we are living in here, in the internet era, and computer skills have become indispensable in people's daily lives. In my view, I believe, careful with your spelling, that young students will gain considerable benefits from studying computer skills in the school in terms of academic performance and future employment. Okay, we get rid of the here. This essay will use empirical studies from China to demonstrate points and support arguments. Art so far, lovely. Um, firstly, there is no doubt. Again, careful with your spelling. To um, no, there is no doubt that people who are good at computer operation will possibly stand a better chance of finding a good job. This is due to the fact that computer skills are perceived as fundamental. You need to have to write skills again. Um, let's see. This is due to the fact that computer skills are perceived... Uh, you could have said tools, actually. That would have been good. Are perceived as fundamental tools that employers must have in order to complete daily tasks in the modern workplace. According to empirical studies by the Chinese government, almost 80% of employers who had leading positions in international technology companies said that they significantly benefited from their early computer study experience in the schools. Okay. Um, I don't know if I care for this expression, study experience. It just doesn't really feel terribly natural. Like, it doesn't create a collocation that most people would be okay with. And then again, you don't need the schools. Um, a lot of students have problems with articles. Um, and words like school are um, common difficulties for a lot of people. So... Um, Review those rules a little bit. Find a good, good um, advanced grammar resource that will explain to you some of these differences um, and how to use articles. School is one of those words that um, if you say the school, it's like you're talking about a specific school. But when you're talking generally about the institution of, of where people get education, we just say school without the. Um, and the same thing, a similar thing kind of applies here when it's a plural as well. So um, it should just be schools. Okay. Um, which allow? Okay. Which allows? Now this should be an S because it's experience, which is um, singular. It's um, uncountable. So which allows? Well, you know what? Actually, that should be past tense, because it should be which allowed them to absorb programming knowledge and practice computer skills much earlier than their peers. Thus, it is important for schools to set up computer science as a compulsory subject for students, as it will be helpful for them to succeed in the future. Okay, so apart from those tiny little grammar things that I really don't find terribly important, um, it was a well-constructed paragraph, so I enjoyed it. Good job. Secondly, there is ample evidence to suggest that studying computer skills will be beneficial to students' academic performance. This is largely because, get rid of that, students with good computer skills will be able to find a great deal of useful study information. Um, again, not a real collocation here. We don't call it study information. We call it information for their studies um, by looking up online research journals and outcomes. If, for example, there are nearly 50%... No. So, for example, nearly 50% of Chinese high school students tend to collect research data via computer programs and complete their homework. This study approach will provide them more information that cannot be obtained from textbooks. Cannot is one word. Some people may argue that students should gain greater skills from being in the interaction with social media or technology, but it should not be forgotten, T-E-N, that computer education in school can offer more professional instructions and useful information to students which cannot be achieved by browsing online news or talking to friends on Facebook. To conclude from the above arguments and examples, I firmly believe that it will be advantageous for students to study computer science in school. This study experience will not only be helpful for their future employment, but also be beneficial to their academic study. Okay. Alright, the first thing I want to talk about is the structure of your essay. 
um, you decided to use five paragraphs here, which I don't really agree with. Um, you had this really beautifully developed paragraph here, and after reading it, I felt like you really developed the topic, and you um, you appropriately discussed the issue, and I felt like it was complete, like there really wasn't a lot more you could say. Then you wrote these two much smaller paragraphs, um, again, supporting the same side. So I didn't really agree with that. Um, now here, what you did is you decided to argue the opposite point of view, this idea about gaining skills uh, from their everyday development. Um, here's what I want to suggest. I think you should have left this out completely. Okay. And then I think you should have developed this much more. Uh, I agree with you that you should have addressed this part of the issue. I think that's important um, to to talk about what extent children can to what extent children can uh, learn these skills naturally, and if that's something in fact you agree with. You started to do that, but it was really really underdeveloped. Now. The other thing you should have done is, since this is the point of view that you don't really agree with, it should have come first. So, first paragraph, your introduction, then this, then this, and I probably wouldn't even have included this. Okay? Um, and then, of course, like I said, this needed to be much more, um, much more developed. Um, because you don't want to, f you don't want to feel like you really spend all of your focus on one paragraph or on one side of the argument and not on the other. It should be as balanced as you can. So that's my feedback about this essay. A lot of the vocabulary, a lot of the grammar was really good. Were there some little errors? Yeah, but they were not really, um, of, of considerable importance as far as I'm concerned. Um, the rest of the essay was really well written. Um, but I want you to remember that in these essays, we talk about the opposite side first, that is the side that we don't really support, and then we put the side that we support as an anchor, all right, close to the conclusion. Let's take a look now at your second essay. All right, great, it's a letter. Okay, dear sir, madam, I am writing in relation to you, your reporter's complaints about a new TV program called Talk To Me. To be honest, my family and I like watching this program as it invites people from various social levels and backgrounds to share their life stories. Some stories are very inspiring and encouraging, which provide audiences with different views to consider social issues and to think about difficulties and challenges that we face in our lives. In the report, a reporter criticized Care for Their Spelling. But this program shared a lot of sad life stories and human sufferings, which could bring negative thoughts and attitudes to people. In my opinion, life is composed of joy, not joyness, and sadness, um, you should have had an and here, and it is because of the treasure of happiness in our lot, mm. and it is the treasure of happiness in our lives that allows us to make great efforts to live, um, this is awkward, let's see, to live healthier, happier, and safer, I guess. To watch some life tragedies will make audiences think, without the two, about how to avoid, what do you mean, how to avoid it? What's the it? And reflect on their own life attitudes and behaviors. This doesn't refer back to anything. Okay? Therefore, I suggest that you should write, or just get rid of the word completely. I suggest you write another review which talks about the positive influences that the TV program may bring to the public. I'm looking forward to your reply. Yours faithfully, men. All right. Um, little grammar things. Um, but other than that, it was fine. Um, again, some nice vocabulary, some nice ideas. Um, yeah. You've done everything that the bullets ask you to do, so it's appropriate. Okay. Uh, good tone. Um, I agreed with... Um, the way you developed it. Would I have liked maybe another paragraph, some sort of division here? Yeah, I probably would have, um, but it's not really, I can't really at the same time find a break in what you wrote that would have allowed that to happen, so I guess it's not um, a huge issue. 
Okay, so go ahead and correct these, return them back corrected, and let's see what you write for us uh, in your next set. Okay, good job.